Hi there, 3DP UK here. Um, another quick video. Um, I've discovered on the Anycubic Over Max. Now, midway for a print, um, I found a plastic uh, clip on the bed, uh, which wasn't supposed to be there after some searching around. Um, looking over the machine itself, there was nothing noticeable down the lower end of this machine. Now, um, at the top, you'll notice that you've got the, the Z rods. Um, and they are on like a timing belt type thing just to keep the two Z's in time. Um, now, what I discovered was at the top, if you go to the top, obviously I don't have a lot of clearance at mine, so it wasn't immediately obvious. Um, I'll just unclip it. This is the clip that I was on about, as you can see. It's just a plastic clip. Um, this bit here. This holds the, um, well, sort of holds the bearing in place, I guess. Um, and the uh, screw rod just sits into there and the bearing's there, and this clip holds the bearing in. I think that's just so that you can change that. Now, let me just move the camera gently. So, what the area that I'm talking about is just on top here, the top of the gantry. Now, anyone who's got their machine slightly lower than mine, because my build plate is actually at waist height, uh, sorry, chest height, which is not ideal really. But anyone who's got this machine, if you take a look, you have one on either side. I'll just take off the other side and just to show you. Um, it's just a little pop click and see, there you go. They're on both sides. Um, now, if you discover this piece, it will look like this. Do not throw it away. If you throw that away, um, I don't think it's something that you, you'd commonly be able to buy. Um, possibly 3D print, I doubt it though. It's quite a unique piece. Now, the reason why I noticed that, when I was looking around the machine, if now I've taken that off, you'll notice that this Z-Rod wobbles. Um, not massively noticeable. Now, if you're at the top of the gantry and your, your print say this high, that wobble can, um, only needs to be a few mil out. Your print, especially if it's quite a flat piece or if you're looking for a, a specific type, that's gonna have so much wobble in there, it's gonna be noticeable in your print. Now, all, you, all I did was um, place it up, so you've got the, the knobbly bit at the front and the actual clip holder. The clip holder goes to the back of the machine, like so and this bit just slots into a little B-slot. Um, as you can see, just putting it in, like so. It's, as I say, it'd be easier for you guys. For me, it's right out of the way, it just clips in, um, like so. You'll hear a little click, there you go. Um, same on this side. Once again, this towards the back of the machine, this little knobbly bit to the front, and it should look like that. Like any clip really, it just sits in, locks into place. Now that sits into the top of the gantry. Um, and a little click. Uh, there you go. Um, like I say, you find that clip when you're doing any print. Do not despair. Do not throw it away. Um, it's really important. You will get a Z wobble. Almost certainly. Um, I noticed uh, there was as it was moving, um, there was a wobble. And then finding that clip on the bed, it was just, it just completely baffled me. Um, make sure they're insecure and then you're good to go. They're obviously um, important. I will take a picture of what it looks like in place. So at the end of the video, check it all the way to the end. You'll see that piece where it should be. That's where it goes. Just a quick video update. Another little helpful tin, tip, sorry. Um, I think these little things, when you discover something, it should be shared, it should be shown, um, helps out people because I know that I was probably seconds away from putting that in the bin. Not good. You need that. Clip, two clips, top of the Z, on the gantry. We're good to go. Thank you for uh, following me on this channel. Hope I'm bringing some good content. Like and subscribe and check out my link tree for my Cura profile. Um, I run on the 4.12. I haven't updated my profile for the five yet. The reason being, I'm getting fantastic prints from this. 
Um, I don't see the point in changing. Yes, I know there's some benefits of Cura 5. For me right now, new machine, kick out some really good prints. Um, yeah, um, link tree in the description. Click on it, request it, happy to share it. Good to go. Take care everyone, 3DP UK.